Hello, in this video, I would talk about COP1 and COP2 coated vesicle mediated ER to Golgi transport. So, the products that are formed in a factory need to be stored and sorted out in a warehouse. From the warehouse, the product may be delivered to a city, a dockyard, a village, or etc., to a different locations. Similarly, inside our cell, there is a production factory, there is a warehouse and there are several demanding places where the products of the factory should be delivered. Now our production house of the factory is the ER whereas our Golgi is a big warehouse where things are sorted out and there are multiple places for example mitochondria, lysosome and even something need to be secreted out of the cell. So those are places of demand where the factory product need to be delivered. For example, a specific lysosomal enzyme which is folded in ER is moved to Golgi and in the Golgi it is speci specially tagged such that it could be delivered to lysosome. Now there are two type of transport between ER and Golgi because our production house and the warehouse should be communicating with each other all the time and there is one anterograde transport and another is retrograde transport. Each is mediated by different type of vesicle as if there are different trucks which goes from the production factory to the warehouse and there are also different variety of trucks which goes from the warehouse to the factory. So these are anterograde and retrograde way of transmission, way of vesicle transmission. Now from the ER to the Golgi, which is anterograde transport, it is mediated by COP2 coated vesicle. And in a moment, we would look at how the COP2 coat is assembled. In the ER membrane, there are specific GIF proteins, which are GTPs, which are uh, GTP exchanging factor proteins, GIF proteins. Now, one such that is SAR1 GIF. It actually activates SAR1 GDP into SAR1 GTP. In a GTP bound form, SAR1 is activated. SAR1 is a monomeric G protein and it plays important role in coat assembly. Now SAR1 binds with other coat proteins such as SEC24, SEC23 and helps to associate with the carbo. And after that, other coat proteins such as SEC13 and SEC31 assembles and forms the COP2, mediate, COP2 mediated coats and that ultimately leads to vesicle pinching and release of the COP2 coated vesicles from the ER membrane and they are ready to be delivered to the Golgi. So these COP2 coated vesicles are comparable to the truck which are delivering stuff from the production factory to the warehouse. Now there is another phase of transport which is known as retrograde transport from Golgi to ER. Maybe let's say think about that some faulty products which mistakenly move to the warehouse need to be bring back to the production factory again. So in that situation this retrograde transport is very important. And the retrograde transport is mediated by a specific GTF, a specific uh, GTP as activator protein and also a specific GIF protein which is known as ARF GIF. The ARF GIF activates small GTP as ARF and converts it to activated GTP bound form. Now once ARF is activated, it binds with specific coat protein subunits such as SEG5, POS1 and SEG22 and serially it binds to the cargo and forms a vesicle that would be but that would be butted out and that vesicle is COP1 coated vesicle which would be transported from Golgi back to the ER. So this is our retrograde transport. I hope this video was informative and you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.